This is the dream world I always see. What does the sage hope to achieve by sending me here? Not again! Come on, you're gonna have to pick one! I am intended for what? The whole world? Or a single life? Uh, hey, he's gone? Then I guess I'll leave too. But how? How do I get back from here? I always just kind of wake up. What was that? That wasn't my right arm! No way! Something's coming! It doesn't matter now. I took care of it. Hey, there's something here. Some kind of material I haven't seen before. Okay, well, I'll take that too. Oh man, more of them! I suspected you might be under attack. Whoa! Sage, is that you? You are being attacked by those trapped here, consumed by their desire for power. I see. You seem unaffected, however. I guess a little simplicity can have its uses. <laughs> Still, you are in danger here. We're going back. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Whew. Looks like I made it back alive. You really do take some looking after, don't you? Hey, you sent me there in the first place. Atsuma, you're safe. Fantastic. Good. Did you talk with your arm? Yeah. I don't really understand much of what it said, but the feeling I got from it was that it's trying to do something good for the world. Could resisting what the arm wants actually be a bad idea? Well, that's for you to decide. I... I still want to save Toya. Even if the world goes on. Without Toya? Without my friends? I'm not sure I care. Only the young can achieve something for nothing. That power can change the world. I'm sorry? What I mean is, the old have to sacrifice to achieve. It's different for the young. Atsuma. What? You are doing the right thing. Huh? I guarantee it. <sighs> Why are you crying? I, I don't know, I... I just can't stop. <sighs> Your words... They really touched me. I'm glad. 
Now tell me, did you find anything when you defeated that creature in your subconscious? Yeah, I did. It looks like a material of some kind. Aha! Uh -huh. That is known as a god orb. God orb? Wow! That's a treasure from the Golem War. Well, well, boy. You know your stuff. I'm a girl! Yeah, like he said, god orbs were created during the Golem War. They are a man-made metal enhanced with magic to fight devil golems. Atsuma, allow me to make you a new weapon from it. A weapon? Yes. Magic forging is the sage's specialty. Isn't that right, Master? Indeed. It's been a while since I worked with a god orb. It will take some time to complete the work. Why don't you all rest?
Sage, can I ask you something? Sage, why are you in here? I'm busy making this for you. I've got some questions. Go on then. I was wondering exactly what my arm is. He said something about being created to fight devil golems? That arm of yours. It's a weapon created in ancient times. Yes, created to fight devil golems. Created to fight devil golems? How? Well, created to circumvent the problem of devil golem regeneration. So, built with the ability to absorb? Correct. Simply injuring a devil golem, no matter how severely, is not enough. But why is it attached to me? Well, in my opinion, I'd say that you were found compatible, and it was attached at an early age. But why? Who could hope to gain by doing such a thing? I have no idea who did it. But I can tell you one thing. Whoever did it is quite a fool. Hmm. If I ever find that fool, I'm gonna deck him. Yeah, good luck with that. I think you should get some sleep anyway. Hey? Can't I stay here a little longer? You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just... I feel so at home here. This is gonna take until morning to finish. Then I'll watch until morning. No! no I'm, I'm telling, telling you to go get go some get sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep! Whoa! No need to get angry again, okay? I'll go and sleep then. Man! You're not sleeping yet? My sorry apprentice. Master, what are you hiding? Seeing beneath the surface was always one of your few strengths. It's about Atsuma's arm, correct? Correct. I know a lot about that arm. I know so much because I'm the fool who attached it. I see. You could at least act surprised. I never expected it would come back to me like this, though. That boy was abandoned in front of the tower as a baby. By the time I realized he was there, sickness had almost claimed him. His parents probably thought I could save him. But I wonder now, if letting him perish might have been the kinder act. You used devil golem cells? Correct. I had a sample here in the tower, still alive after all these hundreds of years. I thought, maybe I could use them to save his life. But perhaps if he had died then, instead, he wouldn't be suffering now. Perhaps. But he is facing his destiny now, trying to make his and our future better. Even if part of him is artificially made, he is trying to overcome the distress it brings him. So there is no question he should not have been left to die. Don't look at your master with such condemnation! Yes, so maybe it was arrogant of me to turn against nature itself. To save him by transferring cells from the Devil Golem. Infinity. And now here I am, thinking it would be better if you were dead. I hate myself. What did you say? That I'm an arrogant, wretched... No, not that. Infinity. I've never heard that name before. A name from the deepest, darkest history. But the numbers do not match up. Three cities, one devil golem in each. You are saying there was another devil golem? Where? No one knows now. The existence of Infinity has all but vanished from history. Whether he remains intact or not, no one knows. The weapon's finished. Here you go, boy. Thank you. If you find any other god orbs, bring them to me. I can make weapons for your companions, too. Well, that takes care of everything, I think. Can you get out of here now, please? I've activated the teleportation device to transfer you to Gravekeep Home. Use it, and be on your way. Thank you for everything, Master. Beyond the gates of the village, you'll find the Queen of Ice's castle. Off you go, then. Sage? What now? Thanks. Thanks for everything. My boy. Don't go getting yourself killed, okay? Okay. I'll be back to annoy you before you know it.
So this is Gravekeep home, is it? It's quiet, but in a sad kind of way. Yeah, it's cold too. I thought children didn't mind the cold that much. Hey, 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 maybe they don't. I'm not a child, so I wouldn't know. So what now? Why don't we gather information on the Queen of Ice's castle? Yeah, we need to find that handsome guy, too. Not my name for him, by the way. Come on, then! Let's gather some information! That's annoying, man. Gosh darn it. Fuck, how many... Oh, Jesus, how many did that fucking thing take? Holy hell, man. Damn it. Damn, here's a powerful one. This guy can come in real handy. No weaknesses to fire or water. You can use both. <clears throat> not that many dark enemies, and even if there are, I'm not that worried about it. As long as I get his HP up to a thousand, I shouldn't have to worry about it. I can always hide him behind somebody anyway. All his attacks are long. Problem is. Is this direct or not, man? Because, I mean, it doesn't exactly. Uh, I'm kind of seeing the direct icon there. If they, if, dude, if they, this is a direct guy, then that's a scam, dude. That's an unforgivable scam right there. I'm not sure if he's direct or not, though. 778. <sighs> Certainly enticing. I think it's funny that they're buried down here, though. The lower... Sh 
shit. Everything else is extremely mediocre. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Last Max power barrage. It says barrage. Seems like a very good skill, honestly. I don't have much doubt that it is. Oh man, but can I use it? Uh, it would certainly, certainly be helpful against fire enemies. And he can move anywhere, so I can wait it out to use it. <clears throat> He's my only gravity user, man. So I kind of don't want to get rid of this. And the Mega Flare Rush is obviously uh, coming handy. It's it's considerably more powerful. Eh, somewhat. Eh, kind of pretty much, man. Honestly. Oh, uh, I could get rid of High Recover, man. Honestly, it's High Recover Grab. Gravity Force. Gravity Force is definitely coming handy, and I don't have anybody to replace it right now, so I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of, uh, I don't want to get rid of Mega Stampede. I think, man, I think, for now I'm just going to do it. Anybody? Power? Oh, should be really high, man. I think I think what it is is uh, there's some kind of multiplier, and it's 80 multiplied by whatever against whatever your number is. Uh, and since his attack number is like 700, I mean it should be really high. Have a really uh, high damage number for these attacks. Uh, the only thing is, he only gets a few of them. He's only got 460 EP, but I mean, I can raise that easy enough. So he's at 702 with his HP. I mean, he's not going anywhere. I wonder what everybody else is at at this point, though. What the fuck were those numbers at, damn it. So, let's see here. <coughs> She's at 647. And, yeah, her numbers are way down compared to his. This guy's worthless. Her ranged attack is freaking low as hell. And the skill of 42, so she's got no damage, no real damage. Uh, 
742. Really high. And decent numbers. We've seen the damage from this. It's pretty impressive. And he's got even more damage than her. So, yeah, man. I'm thinking we got a winner here. Even his range this high. I mean, his range is 690, so I can even use the other attack. So, I think we're doing this. The only thing I don't like about this is, uh... I mean, we're gonna be losing the Ruby... I mean, I can't get rid of the Seraphim, man. I mean, how am I gonna do that? Although, at this point... I have to think... Butterfly might be a little bit more useful. <laughs> but whatever, no. Hard to, uh, to test it out. I mean, the Ruby Butterfly ain't doing that much for me. And this guy should be more powerful than her. What the hell? What the hell? Wait, I'm so confused. I read that wrong, didn't I? Wow, okay, are they... Oh, wow, damn, fucking maxed out, shit. Oops, that is my bad. That's, uh, that's really gonna hurt me, man. Yeah, that's gonna hurt me. Uh, who knows how much SP they've lost because of that. That sucks, man. That really sucks. I don't think she's ever run out of EP. Alright, yeah, even more, uh, even more attack. Atsumas, although I should keep an eye on it, man. Can't be maxing out their fucking SP and losing SP like that. That's just fucking stupid. That's really stupid. Fun. Wow, look at this gate. Impressive. Could the Queen of Ice's castle be behind this gate? Huh? I think she said, could the Queen of Ice's- Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yuki, blow your nose. <laughs> there don't seem to be any exits. This must be the gate the sage mentioned. You're right, I'm sure. But how do you get it open, I wonder? Where are you folks from? What are you doing here? We came from the Sage's Tower. We want to get through this gate. Through the gate? You got a death wish or something? 
There's a violent golem beyond the gate, you know. I wouldn't recommend it. That's fine. We need to get through. Well, you'll need to talk to the village elder then. She has the key to the gate. Which one is her house? You can't miss it. It's right in the center of the village. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, let's go to the village elder's house. some things might be it's moments like this when if you haven't already realized it <laughs> I did everybody should have but they really tie some of this stuff together uh, well with the story I needed to go back down but I also wanted to get that item and I was able to come back down I mean it was half and halfway anyway so I was able to come back down and also get the item along the way, kind of. Excuse me, is the village elder here? And I mean, there's been, what, a um, half dozen or more instances like that that I've noticed during the game. So, I mean, I've noticed it and uh, taken note of it, so. It's, uh. It's pretty uh, well planned out. And most most of the game has been that way, honestly. But I just uh, I I just don't appreciate uh, having to run around like I like I did. I I really believe that uh, a lot of things should have just been taken to cutscene and uh, been warped to locations. There've been a lot of times when I thought I was gonna have to run a long way, and I made negative comments about it, and then it turned out that it was <laughs> really close, and that happened what almost a dozen times now so I mean you know they did a pretty good job of keeping everything close together um, and having everything on the way to something else uh, but still there were some there were some still some instances where I feel like they, they should have just cut it to uh, to the location I was going to or whatever but uh, aside from that, uh, you know, sometimes the location you were going to was right there. So it wasn't so bad. I mean, I really, uh, really just went to a negative place immediately because I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was. 